last video, we learned how to configure MPTCP in our client. And we know that uh, if we want to check if it is working or not, we can use uh, sysctl net command to see that MPTCP is enabled or not. In this video, we are going to learn more about MPTCP and the benefits of using it and why we want to have MPTCP in our client. First of all, if you want to see that your uh, that you have MPTCP connection with the other uh, servers that is uh, configured and the ports are open and you don't have any blocker on the path of your connection, you can go to the am I using am I using mptcp.de website. It is showing that uh, you have mptcp on all your ports or on most of your ports. But okay, what is mptcp and why we use it? <clears throat> I'm going to uh, show the benefits of mptcp in two different scenarios. Imagine you, uh, you have a mobile uh, or you have a laptop or a mobile device that it has a uh, it can it it has a Wi-Fi network interface card and it has a, a cellular network interface card and it can connect to Wi-Fi or mobile communication. Uh, if we don't use MPTCP and use a conventional TCP, when you connect to a server, only one of the networks, for example, only if you are connect uh, you are connected to cellular communication. Uh, the blue arrow is showing the communication path and only the cellular communication is going to be used to transmit the data from the server. But if your client and the server, both of them are MPTCP capable, uh, by looking at the red arrows, you can get the benefits of MPTCP and its deployment. In this case, both of the networks can be used to transmit the data. If you have more than one network, all of them can be used. So by using MPTCP, we can use more than one network connectivity to access to a server. It can bring throughput improvement. It can bring network failure, resiliency. For example, if the cellular communication is going to die or the other one is going to continue so you are not going to lose the uh, lose your connection. For example, when you are downloading a file, the other uh, this scenario is for when you your device and the server is MPTCP capable. This is the scenario that we are going to talk in this video. The other scenario is the time that the server, for example, YouTube, it is not supporting MPTCP. If the connection from your client is going to send a request to uh, which is uh, mptcp request to the uh, to the server it is going to decline because it is not using mptcp so uh, the connection is falling back to the conventional tcp and again the blue arrows are going to be used which is you only using one of the network connections. What is the solution in this case? In this case, we are go we are going. In this case, we are going to use the server. We are going to put a node, an intermediate node, uh, between the client and the public server. We are going to uh, make MPTCP capable on the server, and we are going to run a proxy on the server. In this case, we are going to redirect all the traffic to the public servers from the client first to the proxy server then the proxy server is going to redirect the traffic to the server and is responsible for returning the traffic in this case the connection between the client and the proxy server is going to be multi-passed by using more than one network connection uh, so uh, this part which is the bottleneck part of the network is going to benefit MPTCP and from the proxy server to the public server, which is the backbone of the internet, is going to be a uh, single pass, which is not very important because we have uh, enough bandwidth here. In this case, the traffic, uh, when the traffic uh, is going to forward it to the client, 
first it is going to the uh, proxy server then by looking at the red uh, by uh, then uh, then the traffic is going to redirect it uh, so this arrow should be it is that the uh, should be to the right the traffic is going to be redirected from this network and this network to the client we will talk about this one in the next video okay until now we know that we uh, have mptcp in our client and uh, for seeing the benefits i'm going to download some files from the mptcp website and we will see the benefits of that for this uh, first of all i'm going to run bman which is installed on my client on my laptop and uh, it is going it is it can monitor the networks that you have i'm using dash b for having the data in bits uh, because i have two network interface cards right now and i'm using two networks one of them is ethernet and the other one is a 5g hotspot uh, wi-fi in my uh, mobile communication so i'm going to run two bman uh, this one is, go is showing the ethernet and this one is monitoring the 5g network first let's disable the mptcp and see how it works then enable it and see the difference for this we can use cctl command again a net mptcp enabled and make it zero we can check it and we can see that mptcp is not enabled let's download some files and see how network uh, how my networks are working as you can see only my ethernet uh, which is uh, it has a data rate around 100 megabit per second is uh, has been used and it could download the files okay because uh, i had done uh, i download a couple of files so it could finish uh, in a couple of seconds now let's enable mptcp okay it is enabled and download more files to see the uh, to to monitor different network interface cards let's download more files as you can see in this case both of my networks my ethernet and my wi-fi they are being used as a result they can download files together to improve the data rate that i am having as you can see most of the time the ethernet is performing around 90 and 5g is rounding is uh, functioning around 40 it is going to make 130 which is 30 percent more than the uh, throughput and data rate that i had when i wasn't using MPTCP. So MPTCP gives the possibility of using more than one network at the same time. As you can see, when I'm downloading files from a MPTCP capable server, both my networks are being used, which is a good thing. It is improving the resilience, uh, the throughput. One important thing is that if I am going to download more files and manually disconnect my uh, Ethernet, for example, you are connected to Wi-Fi and, uh, for example, LTE, you lose your Wi-Fi. In a normal connection, so it is going to die and you are going to lose your uh, connection and the downloads are going to be interrupted. But uh, let's see that let's what let's see what happens when i download and i disconnect my cable from the laptop let's download a lot of files so it gives us some time to see now both of them are working okay i disconnect my uh, ethernet as you can see uh, the ethernet rate is going to be uh, zero because it is disconnected and only 5g is going to continue and right now the 5g has 
some uh, degradation in its bandwidth. It, 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 it's okay now. It is improving its bandwidth. Okay, uh, it is. This can bring network failure resiliency. We didn't lose the connection. Uh, the Wi-Fi, the, the 5G continued uh, to download. If I reconnect the uh, cable and start to download files again, both of them are going to download. Let's disconnect it. Again, Ethernet is going to die. And I reconnect it and it was recovered. So uh, when you have both of them, both can function. So MPTCP is bringing the capability of using more than one network interface card. It means more than one network, for example, Wi-Fi and 5G at the same time. And it is going to improve the throughput. It is going to improve the link failure tolerance. If you lose one of the uh, connections, the other one is going to continue. In this scenario, both client and server should support MPTCP. If you want to track which servers are supporting MPTCP right now, you can go to mptcp.io website. It is a website that tracking uh, different MPTCP servers. For example, here you can see IPv4 MPTCP addresses, the numbers, and even IPv6 MPTCP addresses, which, uh, which this number is not very high and mostly it is for Apple. And you can get some other useful information from this website. Uh, if you are interested, you can continue uh, watching the videos and in the coming videos, you can see how to use a proxy to access to websites that are not supporting MPTCP and even how to change different MPTCP uh, functionalities uh, in your machine.